Hey, how how can I turn up my turbo? This is the one that came out of the turbo. It's a nine blade wheel. It's super duty. It's been chewed up. This one has ten. It looks like they're angled. See, see how they have it modern? They have a steep angle? Yeah. They they call that I uh, I might be wrong. They call that five by five. Yeah, this is a five by five. Yeah. And then you got of course the wicked wheel too, the legit one, which is also a ten blade, just like this one. The angles curve up and a lot steeper. I see a difference already, though. Make it, you wouldn't think it would, but it would. Uh, it's like a 16 millimeter, 16 millimeter, and that's like a 13. It's 12, 13, yeah. 12 or 13, something like that. It's weight reduction. It's a, the shaft's a lot smaller, so it's got more blade. Put a caliper on it. Yep. And uh, show you all the difference in the blade widths between okay. a WW2 and a WW1. So we're going to start out by measuring the uh, distance the blade sticks out on the hub on a Wicked Wheel 2. About right there, we got about 21, 22 millimeters. Yep. Now let's go to the Wicked Wheel 1. Look at the difference. Right there. Yep, big gap. Alright, now let's zoom in to what it is. It's like a 2 millimeter difference. It's like 19. Yeah, it's a 2 millimeter difference. Now let's go to this junk. This one's not a fair assessment for the Super Duty Wheel because this one's been neglected. But just for, yeah, just to see how much difference you'll get. You have about a 15 millimeter blade right there. So you're moving some air right there. Yeah. <laughs> you almost you almost have 65 percent more blade. And next test, can can you do this for me while you're at it? Measure the nut. Let's do the nut so people know. Okay. All right. So the new Wicked Wheel Two, oh, whoops, is ballpark 13 millimeter nut. The stock Super Duty hub slash nut, giant, 16. The Wicked Wheel 1, 17. Wait, nope, 16, yeah. Okay. So that makes a huge difference of airflow, having that hub restricted down in size. And like I said earlier, it probably makes a little bit of a weight difference. Let's too. measure the length and blades. All right, length and blades, but you got a long and a short. We're back on zero. We're just going to do the longs for now. Yeah. I'm going to go from the base. I'm touching the base to the tip. Got about 46 millimeters. 46 millimeters. See what we get right here. Touching the base. Wow. Wow. Look at the difference already. 42. No, I'd say 40. 40? All right, now. <laughs> Stock super duty. That's kind of hard to say because yeah. you don't have a point. Yeah. The point's kind of gone. It's 40 to 38-ish because that corner's gone. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to be building some good boosts with this one. <laughs> I would say, wouldn't you? I'm really glad we got out the dial gauge because there's all this talk on forums about Wicked Wheel 2 versus Wicked Wheel 1 and then Stock Super Duty versus Old Body Style Wheels and a, a, a dial board gauge, not a dial board gauge, a dial indicator, a caliper is not going to lie. These blades stick out wider. They're a little bit taller. I mean, they're it's, going... This is billet, it's lightweight, the hub's smaller for more propeller, less hub. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the Ford it's like wheel. It's like Ford. low, medium, and high. Yep. <laughs> and then fucking junk. <laughs> <laughs> I say when we get bored, we slap this one in your turbo. Yeah, probably will. It's probably, we'll, me we'll take mine out and measure it compared to that one. And see what see what it does. I want to see it put to good use. I got the Wicked Wheel 2. I've donated this one to Paul. This is his. Merry Christmas, Paul. Yeah, I donated it to Skillet since we can't seem to get Skittles going. Skillet's been riding me around everywhere. So what we decided to do was go about it a different way, and how do we make the average guy's turbo 
give them what they want, but do it in a way that makes things safer and things live longer. So back in 99, when you got started on all of this, you came up with a concept for the Wicked Wheel. Yeah, the stock turbos had a problem with compressor surge, what we called it. When the people put chips on it or they'd tow, you'd hear like a chatter out of the turbo. <laughs> That was really hard on the turbochargers and it was bad for performance. This was the original wheel that came in those trucks. We found a wheel in the early model trucks, and a lot of us still call them OBSs, the 94 through 97 model trucks. And this wheel was an OEM wheel in that truck. It handled surge better, so we used it in the late model trucks and we wanted to create a cool marketing name for it and somebody thought it looked wicked, so we called it the Wicked Wheel. And have taken the Wicked Wheel all the way to billet. First of all, I can't believe how light this is. I mean, we're talking billet, but with the CNC and everything and with less weight, hey, we're talking about things are going to move faster. Going to billet gave us the ability to reprofile the wheel completely. It's got a bigger inducer, the hub's smaller, the blades are taller, and the profiling of the blades are actually different. So it completely eliminates surge and the spool up is almost twice as fast. The uh, drive pressure on the turbo or the efficiency as we call it is better okay. and boost is higher.